Hey everybody, welcome back to the Manga Geekdom. Today we're doing another haul video. A short one, but a good one in my opinion. All the cool stuff I got in the month of April that was missing from the previous manga haul. The Night Blooms Behind Castle Walls Volume 2. Really enjoyed this series when I read Volume 1. My first impressions is on the channel if you want to check it out. I really like the whole concept of slice of life meets this uh, epic adventure of a young girl wanting to be a knight, but she has to be a squire first, and all the trials and tribulations that come with it. Really wonderful art, highly recommend checking this series out. It's only three volumes, so it's not a huge commitment. I showed it off last haul, level one demon lord and one room hero. It's actually pretty funny. I like the idea that it's a comedy series, slice of life. You have this demon lord that was defeated. He comes back prematurely, but now he's like a pipsqueak, the body of a 10 year old basically. And he is seeking out the hero. The hero is not as he remembers him to be, more of a has-been nowadays, down on his luck. Certain things have happened to him, some bad stuff that tarnished his reputation. And they just, go off from there and they form this unlikely friendship, the two of them. If you're in the mood for some raunchy, comedic fantasy series, check out Level 1 Demon Lord and One Room Hero. Next up from one of my favorite mangaka, Satoshi Mizukami, I picked up World and Solte Volume 1. The art in this looks fantastic and uh, I thought it was funny that Volume 1, the cover is embossed or the logo for it on the cover here, and not with volume two. It's a take on real life issues with pollution, and this is a world where magical pollution has affected the world. There are characters called salvagers that go into this pollution and try to retrieve stuff that's worth of value, and you have a main character who's interested not necessarily in fixing everything that happened in this world, but actually traveling to the far end of said pollution to see what else is out there. Everything looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the spines here real quick on the Seven Seas books that I got. Pretty interesting. Next up from Tokyo Pop, another Mizukami series, Sengoku Yoko. This action fantasy series splits humans with monsters called Katawara, and the main characters are in fact Katawara. They discover a plot of humans being experimented on to transform them into monsters, so now they are going to side with the humans and fight the person responsible for this. I love the art. This just looks phenomenal. It's only 100 chapters collected across 17 volumes, so it's not a huge commitment. Can't wait uh, for more volumes of this series. And here we have Dr. Stone Volume 25 from Viz Media and Shonen Jump. I can't show too much of what's happening inside because that would be a spoiler. We're near the end of the series. I don't actually know as of me making this video how the story ends. Thankfully, I've avoided spoilers. So I'm really excited to check out what happens in Dr. Stone. Here we have the final volume of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess manga adaptation. A phenomenal take on the Twilight Princess game. One of the best stories, in my personal opinion, in the whole Zelda mythos. Twilight Princess, such a great game. And uh, even though that's not my favorite Zelda game, that would be Wind Waker. The artwork on this is just exquisite, in my opinion. So here are the spines for those three books, two Viz media books and one Tokyo Pop, and some larger trim-sized editions here. We have Rent-A-Girlfriend Volume 18. Really looking forward to reading this. Uh, volume 17 ended on such a uh, uh, shocking cliffhanger. I can't wait. Yeah, it's my guilty pleasure. I don't care. I love this series, and I want to find out what happened with certain characters in Volume 17, if they're going to make it or not. Next up is volume 18 of To Your Eternity. Now this I can wholeheartedly recommend. Phenomenal artwork, fantastic story, great characters. This is one of my favorite ongoing manga right now as of 2023. I love this series so much. And I have to admit, I need to catch up. I think the last one I read was either 13 or 14. So I don't know much of what's happening in this uh, future arc. Eager to find out more of To Your Eternity. Record of Ragnarok. I was waiting to get more volumes to read because it's such a fast read because most of it is fighting 
and you can easily read through all of that in a couple minutes. I stopped reading the series and waited to get a bunch of volumes, but oh so good with the action and the character designs and the unique takes on these legendary heroes and, and godlike figures and all that stuff. A lot of fun. Next up, My Dress Up Darling Volume 8. Really cool to have this. I love this series, really enjoyed the show, and I've been slowly reading the manga. I haven't gotten to the new stuff yet for me. Obviously, the anime adapted, uh, what, the first uh, six volumes? So I haven't gotten to volume seven yet, but the artwork uh, continues to excel, in my opinion. This one is by uh, Square Enix manga. And something that I've been putting off buying for a while, you're seeing it here, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid in color. This is the Chromatic Edition, story and art by Cool Kyosinja. I don't have the manga. I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of it. The art style, I don't know, for some reason, I just prefer to consume the story in animation form instead of the original. But as a fan of the franchise, I guess I wanted to own at least something of the manga and to have colored chapters in here. It's just a random assortment. There's no continuity. Uh, with this, but it's still fun. I was not aware of the nudity in this manga. I didn't know it went to such lengths. The anime, while risque, I don't think it goes uh, full frontal or anything. Uh, but the manga, yeah, that, that took me by surprise. I was not expecting to see the uh, characters in that shape or form. I know there's a volume two out in Japan, so hopefully Seven Seas gets volume two as well to add it to the collection. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I'm a fan. I'm excited to have this, so there you go. On the anime side of things, unfortunately, just one Blu-ray. I do have more stuff coming in the mail. They didn't arrive in time for the making of this video, but we'll see it next month. It's all right. Here we have Sonic X. Finally, I have this. I have been waiting ever since I saw the dubbed release by uh, Discotech a couple years ago. I said, man, this sucks that it doesn't have the Japanese version because that is, in my opinion, my personal opinion, the best adaptation of Sonic outside of the video games. I disliked the For Kids version, the dub, but that's what I consumed back in the day. But later on, I was able to track down the Japanese version and watch it and noticed all the, the differences and all that stuff. So thank you to Discotech. I know I'm not the only one. A lot of people have been asking for this and we finally got it. The full series, they reworked the translation. I think some of the music was redone or some of the visuals as well. Obviously it's cleaned up a lot. This is SD on, on Blu-ray. I have been waiting for so long. So to see this release just uh, brings a smile to my face. I love Sonic X, that's my favorite, like I mentioned just now. So yeah, super, super excited, hell yeah. So there you go guys, a small uh, manga haul, nothing uh, too fancy. Uh, I, I wanna thank, for me at least, for my taste, quality over quantity, right? <laughs> so uh, thank you so much everybody for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to share it, that'd be fantastic. It helps the channel grow and we want that. We want more people tuning in to the manga geekdom. I truly do appreciate all the support. We are finally on the road to uh, 3K. It's been a slog and a journey and an odyssey to get here, but I'm excited. More subs means more people watching. That's what I want. Thank you, everybody. I got to go. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.